Last Saturday, police say 76-year-old Ellen Gillen shot and killed her husband in his hospital bed. He was terminally ill, and she told police she and her husband planned his killing. She is charged with first-degree murder. When News 6 posted the story online, many readers came out in support of Gillen because she said she was fulfilling her husband's wishes. There are several states where medical aid in dying is legal. Florida is not one of them. But there is a new push to pass death with dignity legislation. Drop the gun! This is video of Daytona Beach police in a standoff with 76-year-old Ellen Galland after she shot and killed her husband who was terminally ill, according to police. Just drop it! Just put it on the ground and slide it away from you! Galland told police her husband asked her to do it. It is such a tragedy what happens. It's a request that Peg Sandine's husband made to her. He asked me to actually kill him. Like, so I have... I've seen this desperate situation before and experienced it personally. Sandine's husband, John, was diagnosed with HIV in 1989 when the prognosis was grim and the suffering acute. She wrote about her husband asking her to help him die on HuffPost.com. You know, I was in shock, like in my mindset at the time, that was murder, right? But he was suffering, like, and I wanted his suffering to end, and his doctor couldn't do anything about it, his nurses couldn't do anything about it, and so it just felt like unnecessary suffering. Sandine says she couldn't help her husband, but the experience led her to death with dignity, which focuses on end-of-life advocacy and policy reform. In 1997, the Oregon Death with Dignity Act took effect, and since then, nine other states and the District of Columbia have passed legislation. During the 21-22 legislative session, medical aid and dying bills were introduced in 12 other states. If you think of us as a social justice movement for people with a terminal illness, we're very young. We're only 30 years old. In states where it's legal, patients who meet the requirements can request a prescription from their doctor of a lethal dose of medications, allowing the patient to decide when they die. In 2020, former Florida Senator Kevin Rader introduced Senate Bill 1800, Death with Dignity. The bill didn't go anywhere. It didn't have a committee hearing. It, it, was, uh, it was practically DOA on arrival, dead on arrival. Rader says the bill mirrored Oregon's and laid out the requirements for an individual to request medication for the purpose of ending their life in a humane and dignified manner. You had to be 18, a resident of Florida, clinically diagnosed with a terminal condition by two physicians and competent to make an informed decision. While it didn't have legislative support, Rader says what it did was spark a discussion. I had a lot of press and a lot of individuals who called me thanking me in my, for, for filing the bill. In November of 2020, a Brevard County man started Florida Death with Dignity. The organization says it now has Senate support for a proposed Florida End of Life Options Act. But Sandine says it likely won't happen quickly. I am so excited about the work, the grassroots work that they're doing in Florida to get this law passed. But um, it might be a while, but I think um, we will definitely see progress. Sandine says in other states it has typically taken 10 to 15 years to pass legislation like this. We have a number of resources on the topic with this story on clickorlando.com.